Hello human beings of the planet that we call Earth. Today I am going to be starting a new series called Hardware Discussions. Now, you may be asking yourself right now, Val, what's what's in front of my face? What's in front of the screen right now? What am I looking at? This, my friends, is actually a super, super old motherboard. You may be asking as well, why? Well, let me let me just start off with the backstory. This motherboard was the one that I got when I first started building PCs. As you can see, look at just just take a look at the IO real quick. We have um I don't even know what to call these. These are probably um really old really old display to a uh display to computer ports. We have the standard VGA right here. We have the keyboard and mouse slots and then we have the three ports for audio and video which nothing even uses anymore. Like this is this is what like old monitors used to use. Um, and surprisingly enough, we do have a functional Ethernet and USB 2.0, it looks like. So, why do I have this? This motherboard right here, I actually got it a really while, long while back. Um, I got it when I first started building PCs. I needed a motherboard. And so this guy, that I, this sketchy guy that I found on Craigslist, no profile pic, uh, through email, uh, lived in like a really sketchy area, um, but of course my uh, my very my very smart intellect and decisions at the time um, allowed me to get this beautiful piece of art. And what he did was um, I was offered this motherboard for twenty five dollars. I'm like twenty five dollars. That's amazing. And so of course I didn't know at the time, and I didn't really know that I was getting such a bad deal. This was. This is probably, like, this type of the stuff that they dump out now. Like, computers that have this in them are getting dumped out. This is how, like, old, how old this stuff is. And, um, if you look at it, the, the things that are on here are extremely old. But this guy who sold me this, he offered it to me for $25, and I took the deal real quick. And there's a special catch behind this. I'm gonna get later into it at the end of the video, but you'll realize it once I get there. Um, so let's just start off, right? Like, let's just start off. Why are we even delaying anymore, Val? Let's just start off. Alrighty then. So what are we going to be doing? We're first going to be taking an inspection at the the hardware boards. Now, just take a look at this. These right here are ADA boards. Also, I believe called IDE. If you've ever seen those connectors, they're like this thick. Obviously, the port is right there. You don't know how thick they were, but they had all of these pins. There was all a separate hole in it and connect as a whole into other hard drives. Now, these hard drives at the time were very small capacities compared to what we have today. Now, nowadays, you can find 10 terabyte hard drives, which is pure insanity. Um, but this right here, these like the maximum hard drives that you could possibly get through these types of ports were like not even a terabyte, maybe max 250 gig. Um, here, believe it or not, it's a floppy disk connector. Floppy disk. And then, yeah, that just explains how old this thing is. And just to add to the irony, the guy who actually sold this to me, he's like, well, it shouldn't, it's only like at least a few years old. Like, he, he didn't want to give me details. I should have learned at that point that that's what causes all this sketch in the first place. Um... But if he didn't want to give me details, so like, it has to be at least a few years old. I don't know. <laughs> he, he well knew, trust me. Um, the next thing that we're looking at right here is this port right here. Originally, I looked at this and I'm like, is this a PCI Express 1? Um, it's not. Obviously, it's not. Um, this right here is, actually, I don't even know what this is. It's extremely old. I feel like it's something that would be... Uh, for smaller, I don't know, connectable devices, like the PCI X1 ports nowadays are for, you know, network cards, uh, Wi-Fi cards, a, a bunch of things. This would probably be for something similar. These two right here were usually for graphics cards, very old graphics cards that you could put in here. Um, of course, you could put other things in here that you could find. But this was like, at the time, this was like the, the main graphics card port. It, it's called an AGP. Oh, and I forgot to mention, these are regular PCI ports. Uh, I believe it's a... I don't even know what you call it. I, I think it might just be a PCI. That's, I think that's all they call it. Um, this right here 
is actually a AGP slot, AGP, AGP um, 8X. Basically, here was where you'd find many graphics cards at the time. Like, these were like the high-end graphics cards. These were like the GTX 1080 Ti's at the time. Um, and they were they 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 were like the bomb. You, I, I'm not even that I was. I don't even think I was born when these types of graphics cards were like really going around. Actually, I might have been born. Actually, I was born. But um, I was very young. I obviously I wouldn't be able to remember these types of things. Um, and I didn't even know of computers at the time. I, you know, I'm like the first in my entire family to really be interested in a field of the field of computers. Um, now. This is the AGP port. This was where the graphics cards usually went. Um, it, it, as I just said, like five million times already. This this is like where the the best. This was like the best slot for graphics cards. Um, heat, heat sink for the motherboard itself. Um, I don't even think that you will see these on many motherboards nowadays. They have like those proprietary ones that are either around the CPU or um, down in the few corners that it has. Um, right here, as we move back and look at the entire board, we can see that it's a relatively small board. I mean, it, it's the general ATX size, but looking at it, you'll see that things actually do kind of look cramped. Zooming down once more, we can look, let me get right to the, actually, actually no, let's not get right to the chase. Because the chase isn't here yet, there's something else I want to look at. What capacity is this? This is 126 megabytes. This is half of that from what I remember. So this thing, if I can, hold on, let me do my math. So 6, 126, so it's 63. Um, yeah, 63. So if this was 63 megabytes, or was it 63? I feel like it was 63 because that's what I remember it last having. This was 63 megabytes. Um, then that means that in total there would be like a bit over 200 no not even less than 200 this this was like barely any RAM nowadays you can't do anything with this you try to open up paint and it won't even work like your, your computer will just die I don't even think that this is enough for like Windows 7 or not even Windows XP this is a horrible amount of RAM um, but at the time it was it was below average it was like meh it was it, it was okay now here, you may be looking at this and be like, why are we looking at this CPU cooler? Why? Because there's nothing else to look at here. There is no CPU under this. If you don't believe me, I'll grab my screwdriver right now, but I can't, I probably can't. Actually, I might be able to take this off. Grab my screwdriver. And this was like the sketchy crap you have to do if you tried to take this thing off, you know. Here we go. Please don't break this motherboard. Come on, Val. Oh, God. This is so sketch. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sketch. Just like, you know what? I'm not going to try anymore. Um, But under here, there's no CPU. The guy who gave me this just put this cooler on top. And and um, my, my smart one didn't even ask to, like... And don't spin your fan, by the way. That'll just cause current. My damage your motherboard. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, but the guy who actually gave me this... He, he he just put the CPU cooler on top and hoped that I didn't know about the CPU that is not existing under there. And my smart uh, my, my my smart level of intelligence that I did have at the time. Um, oh yeah, that's just all my tools over there. Don't mind that. Um, did not realize that this would be possible. So I didn't ask the test or anything. I I like my I I was dumb enough to trust him. So I got this piece of junk for twenty five dollars. And not only did I get $25 for this thing, but I also got scammed. This thing had no CPU under it. All it has was with this, this crap cooler on top of it, and, and that's it. Um, yeah, that was basically how I got this motherboard and all the stories behind it. Now, you will find things, um, I believe I was looking at this earlier, there was a card called a GT5... 5600 I believe don't quote me on that I'm not sure but it would fit in this AGP slot um yeah that was about it that's about it guys but um 
Yeah, th this. I mean, I'm I'm actually able that I was able to tell you guys a story behind this because it, I've been it's been itching. It's been itching for me to release this information for a while. And um, guys, if you're ever on just a tip, if you're ever on Craigslist, eBay. Craigslist and those are like the, the two the very those are like the the two uh, selling websites that you can actually get scammed if you're not careful. Amazon is like yeah, Amazon you'll be okay unless you unless you actually try to go for those warehouse deals and um you know you 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 choose a really sketchy seller. But eBay and Craigslist you have to you have to really communicate with that seller. If he's not giving you en enough information, if he's if he's trying to avoid certain topics, if he or she, let me correct it, yeah, if he or she um, is, um, is, is simply, you, you'll get that feeling, it's if he or she is simply not being a actual genuine person and trying to, and, and you feel like something weird is going on, just don't do it. it, it you rather not waste your money than, than actually, you know, for the risk of probably getting a it's you know a scam up your sleeve um so yeah just be careful don't don't do what i did um thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe it greatly be appreciated and share this share this in fact share this um the, this this type of these types of scams especially in places that that um you know places in america where these are very popular if are you know are actually damaging certain people quite a lot and it's and although the on the scammers and they might not necessarily know this it's pretty devastating sometimes and for me it wasn't it was 25 bucks um i i got over it but for the others 25 bucks might not be might not be like uh, you know a lot that is something that they can lose just because they got scammed um so please share this try to spread the word um and lastly please hit that like button if you like this video and have a good day